And that's the fire set up. Come, take a seat. Today's journey was long and, uh, You best get your rest while you can have it. Come, sit next to me. Here. A blanket. I know you wish to go on this journey, and I apologize for speaking out of line, but we'll be passing through bandit country soon. Are you sure you wish to continue? Oh, no, no, I'm fine. was just a nick that the bandits gave me. Besides, two bandits as if that number could thwart me. I still remember my swordplay lessons well. I think the only shame of that encounter was that they managed to scratch the carriage. But the carriage is replaceable. The cargo, mind you. Priceless. Just the two of us on the roads. I feel it begs for trouble. Especially an individual of your stature. Can you imagine if a group of bandits found a, a noble accompanied by only one guard? Would be a nightmare. You know my sword is sworn to serve. Yes, I... I realize that... This is a journey you must make. Delivering supplies to those displaced by the atrocities, but you could have merely sent a few knights alongside myself. I understand you wish to go there personally, but Master. Forgive me, but he won't be there. I know. I know it is out of line for me to say, and you have searched and you have searched, but how many more of these sites must you... must you go through the pain of visiting before you realize that the Lord, he... The battle may have taken him. I have served you for years at this point, and I... I cannot bear to see you upset anymore.
No, no, master, no. I'm not giving up hope. Far from it. It would warm my heart to see you and the master reunited, but... It has been nearly two years. Do you not believe he may have returned home by now? Oh, my, my apologies, my... Oh, I am a fool. To speak so insensitively, and as well as to my master. Then, I pray thee, return home. Allow myself and the rest of your knights to continue the search. There must be something we can do. We've all seen his portrait. I understand. you are wasting your best years on this pursuit. The time we have in this world is finite. Let us not waste it. Master, come. You look exhausted. Rest your head on my shoulder. I'll keep you safe through the night. You know, I remember the day your father first found me. The poor orphan boy on the street, begging for scraps. Have I ever told you that story, actually? No. In all the years we've known each other. <laughs> I suppose not. He forbade me to speak of it in the house. I suppose it was his way of showing some sort of love to make it seem as if I had always been there. I was on the street. I pegged for scraps and occasionally I picked a pocket or two. <laughs> I was but a thin, skinny thing. in a few days when I saw him rummaging through the market stalls, searching for books and fruit and whatnot. I thought, why not uh, lift that rather weighty coin purse? Next thing I knew, he had me by the arm. said I was to be one of his knights. Nay, that I would grow to be your personal protector. I thought him mad. 
I miss those days. The two of us. <laughs> we were but children. Running round the estate's grounds. <laughs> Do you remember the time we knocked over the portrait? In the grand hall. I was sure I was going to be sent to sleep in the barn. But there you went. Taking the blame yourself. I suppose that's the reason why I want to defend you as much as I do. All of the memories we share. The time we've spent. And then I watched you grow up alongside me. Watched you marry. And eventually, I was pronounced Knight Silvesh. Your protector. And I couldn't think of a better motivation to protect you. Now shut your eyes. in my arms.